then I'll talk about that room. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of this bed here, we have the uh, Celosia. It's a Bombay Celosia. And we just put it in about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So we're going to, it's got some little tiny blooms on it because it was held in the flat. So what we're going to do in about a week is go ahead and do a pinch. We'll pinch out the little bloom. So we'll get some side shoots uh, growing from it. This will get uh, approximately two and a half, three foot tall. And it has a triangular shaped blossom. And it is similar to the coxcomb, the top of it, where it's crested. Now, uh, different from the plume celosia. And then on down here with the reddish colored foliage, uh, this is a high Z celosia. This is similar to a plume. Uh, flower and it will um, has a magenta flower and we'll do a pinch on this also after it gets about six inches high and it'll send up about eight to ten side shoots and those will all be cuttable and marketable. Then on the end here in the dark green um, we have a Cosmos, and this is a chocolate. This is a chocolate Cosmos here, and it will have half dollar size blossoms in a milk chocolate brown color. And the foliage and the flowers do have a, a kind of a cocoa scent to them. Uh, very aromatic. And then on the end, we have asters, and these are Matsumoto asters. And they are going to be kind of somewhat of a daisy. They'll have a yellow center. We have three varieties, a red, a hot pink, and a purple. And we have those over here also. These we planted uh, yesterday. Um, they come in trays of 125, uh, basically a little plug or a starter plant and then finishing out the rest of the row uh, are asters also in the same uh, variety and they're called Matsumoto's.